Welcome to another video making song bringer. This is your kindly host, Wizard Foo. Today I'm playing um, the remainder of a playthrough, a play test, you could say, with the ring, the cursed ring. So this is a difficult run. I'm basically just trying to get some thoughts on. Um, controller all set up here. Um, I'm trying to get some thoughts. Basically on the difficulty, you know, the bosses. The bosses especially, but all the, the enemies too. So the curse ring adds uh, damage, health, um, intelligence and special attacks to all the bosses. So I'm just basically trying to gather some feedback um, and and see what adjustments need to be made to balance the difficulty with this cursed ring uh, because it does add. So so far, like two or three of the bosses have been super difficult, but the others were easy. So I'm trying to make the easy ones not so easy and the super difficult one. I, perhaps make the super difficult ones not quite as difficult. In fact, I'm not sure if I'll do that. I might even leave the difficult ones alone because it was quite a cathartic, um, you know, overcoming feeling to, to beat those bosses once it was done. The real challenge was in, um, defeating the bosses with very low health. You know, like at the very beginning of the game when you only have three teeth, does tons of damage. The very first boss, for example, oh wait, I'm supposed to go fight the, we can at least go in here. Yeah, the first boss kicked my ass, oh my god. The second boss as well, well in this run the second boss is the dragon. So I'm just going to put my teleport point to here, because I know I want to get the help, excuse me, get the help, but um, oh cool, I can just warp back here. Get back to this point. Oh, what? Wait, did I do it? Oh, that's right. Last night I beat that. Oh, sweet. Okay, good. So, last night I was wondering um, whether I could beat the wall boss. The wall boss is like really, really tight to with the, how much health he has because he has a 25% health boost. It's already a timed battle because the wall boss moves down slowly at first and it gets faster at the end. So it's like timed so that his health is like just able to beat him. So that it's always sort of an intense fight. Um, so yeah, that's that was really, really an amazing feeling to beat that guy. I just noticed these gargoyles are not on top of those pillars. I guess I could fix that. Might as well note it. So we're gonna get Vel, go fight the tower bosses. Be 
good to gauge how uh, the tower bosses are. Oh, good, that's right, she has her fear. guys too. Um, oh, same thing with the
that boss never has been. I do have some humble, some thoughts for how to make it more difficult. Namely, you should not even be able to be frozen if you have the He's normally weak to ice as well, and I was hitting with ice the whole time there, so um, by making him immune to ice, he won't even be taking extra damage from it, so that will also be it. Something to help balance him out and make him a little more difficult. It's just too easy. It's easy now. It's good to have these thoughts. Get all this ready to go. Finally doing a balancing run on all this new content. Starting that. Oh, does that mean I have to fight all these bosses again? Two flasks. I can use a flask. That will definitely help. Um, see, I can't freeze him, or else he'll freeze me. It really takes away one of the weaknesses of this enemy. 
can definitely blink around a lot. I think just like hitting him with regular sword is probably the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Trying to charge up and hit him perfectly every time is kind of difficult. Blinking away is good, but like he's just like a dog on a bone. I guess I just have to hit him as much as I can, dodge as much as I can. Use a flask. Oh, I can I can definitely um eat cactuses too. trick of the mind. If you try and dance around him and dodge him, you get your ass kicked. He probably should recover faster too. Well, because I was hitting him a bit, a bit much there. too easy. Okay, final boss, Metatron. His special attack is that he does two sword strikes. Both do crazy amounts of damage. And um, they're back to back. And that affects every one of his three phases. He does his sword strike and every one of his phases. So does his double sword strike and then basically almost takes off right away, so...
don't die. My guy has got to shoot the sword for this. Oh! In general, I'm thinking the, the biggest trick to beating all these guys is mostly just not getting hit. Cactus left. Alright. He's doable. He's doable. But I definitely needed that extra flask. Which I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have been able to do this with my normal speed run. That's for sure. Okay. Good. This is good confirmation that the game is beatable with the rain. That's more difficult. Some of the bosses need to be more difficult. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the other ones alone. I'll, I'll do another pass at balancing here, all the bosses and stuff. And then, um, I mean, I'll do have to do another play. Um, just to make sure.
right, so there you go. We did a run with the cursed ring. Part of it was too easy. Part of it was crazy difficult. Died a lot, especially at the beginning. I died like four times in beating the wall boss. I died once going up the tower. <coughs> Didn't die with the final boss at all. But I was pretty prepared. Fought that guy a million times, so. Thanks for watching this video. Um, let's see what the time is here. <laughs> Hour 43. A lot longer than that because I died a bunch. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna sign off now. I'll start fixing some bugs, but I gotta get some breakfast first. So, yep, thank you. Thank you again. Appreciate you.